is a Think Different Podcast, the only Apple podcast with two former Apple retail employees with 20 years of combined experience. We discuss the news in the Apple universe and share our retail experiences. This week, we have two big things, including one me personal thing, where I went to Apple support for an issue and I found out amazing discovery with Apple Care Plus and Apple just announced their 2021 first quarter results and of course Apple made money. I am Will TLD, <laughs> the former Apple specialist creative and genius along with me every single week, Mr. Zevia himself, Mr. Cheeto Frank, the creative funk. What's up? Hey, how you doing, Will? Things gonna, going, going well, huh? I'm going to find out as many things I can put in the middle of your name as I can. So <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure your name is super long. So that's why. How about handsome? We're out of room. We don't have that much room uh, <laughs> for that, Frank. But I got to tell you, what a week it has been, Frank. You know, the last time we talked, now if you notice right now, the shirt I'm wearing says the 300 Club. Uh, for that, and the reason why I'm wearing that is because on Thursday evening, I went bowling and I bowled a perfect 12 strike game. Get got, out of here! Yeah, uh huh? That's right. Wow, congratulations! You know, when I saw it, I yeah, I didn't think of it, but then I rem- saw a post of yours that you were at the bowling alley. Yeah, huh? Wow, no, that wasn't my first strike, Frank. No, it was not. I bowled a perfect game. It was. It has been since 2004 is the last time I've done that. And when I did that in 2004, there was no crowd. So I was by myself. And that was a what they call pre-bowling, which you're bowling before your league actually happens. Right, right, and, right. And you actually get, you know, but you still get the, 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 the glamour. The, you get a special ring that you win for that. Yeah, yeah. I, and I bowled one when I was 17. That was my first time bowling one. So it has been a long time coming. It was such a great moment. It's on my Instagram page. It's W, uh, I don't even know my own damn Instagram page, WV Productions and J. You can check it out there if you want to see the shot. But yeah, amazing week, Frank. How, how many people were around watching you? A lot. You know, and the whole problem is when you're bowling a 300, your entire alley stops bowling. Everybody in the league stops bowling out of respect to let you bowl your three, try to go for your 300. And on top of that, you're nervous as hell because you have to, you have all these people watching you, taking yep. video of you, hoping that you get it. Wow, that's that's terrific, man. Yeah, so I'm gonna be wearing, and I wanna thank my wife for the shirt. This was an early uh, present for Valentine's Day. I'll be wearing it tomorrow. So yep, I'm gonna brag about it as much as possible just to piss so did you have to buy drinks for everybody in the bowling alley no they should be buying me drinks dude and plus you can't do that because (laughs) it's it's new jersey and everything closes after 10 o'clock and i couldn't get a damn drink see that's that's see now if you're a golfer and you get a hole in one the guy that gets the hole in one buys drinks for everybody in the clubhouse after his round you know how many drinks i would have had to bought so what no you're a man you're a man of me Independent means, man. Come uh, on. Absolutely. Speaking of independent means, this week in history, Frank, this week, <laughs> Apple silently released a third generation called a Rev A model, which is a on January 28th of 2013 of the Apple TV third generation model. This was a quiet rollout that gained support for your peer-to-peer airplay, which allowed iOS devices to mirror the Apple TV without requiring both devices to be on the Wi-Fi network. Now, I think the biggest reason they did this was there was a rumor going around, and it was true that the, I guess it wouldn't be a rumor, uh, that the Apple TV second generation had the ability to get modified and was you could put custom software on it. Oh, yeah, and, I remember that, yeah. And I think that's why this came out, because then it took a few months later when they officially announced a third generation model. So that means a new generation model came out for a couple months. And I think the only reason they did that was to stop the modifications on that second gen. Hmm. Well, it worked. Yep, it did work because you haven't been able to modify an Apple TV since. Yep. 
Well, let's talk about my week this week, besides my 300K, which I pulled by myself 12 strikes in a row. One thing I had to get done was my Apple Watch. My Apple Watch warranty was running out this month. I actually got a reminder. I sent a reminder two years in advance to remind me to call Apple about my watch. So I called about my battery because I wanted to see if my battery was bad. I wanted to see if I could get a free replacement. Meanwhile, the real reason I'm calling is I have a ton of scratches on it. And I wanted to get it fixed. Then, because time goes by, I forgot to call Apple Care one day after my <laughs> Apple Care expired. Yeah, okay. That's how it so, always happens. So, so you, this had a happy ending, right? Not, I guess, more of a discovery. So, I called up Apple Care. I explained it's only been one day after. I eventually had to talk to a tier two support. So, I first started as a chat which then they told me someone would call me. Someone did, but then it was another tier one user. So I went from a tier one on the chat to tier one on the phone, which they told me I was going to be talking to a tier two. I asked for one. I waited about 20 minutes on the phone for a tier two to, autom- to find out the discovery that they said, well, you can extend your Apple Care plan. I was like, what? I never heard of that. And then long and behold, when you buy a warranty full price with it after 30 days when your Apple Care Plus expires, you have the ability to be charged $4 a month for the next 24 months to extend your Apple Care. That's right. So that means that instead of your Pretty two good. year plan, you could pay for a for four the- year plan, but you have to do it on a monthly basis. Now, can you cancel it at any time? Yes, that is the best part. You can cancel it anytime you want. And I just found this out. I was like, wow. Now they have, now if you're a couple days out of warranty, you don't have an excuse anymore. Yeah, Apple four does, bucks. For four bucks, you can extend your warranty for even one month just to take care of this issue. So I'm going to read the details about it. So if your Apple Care Plus plan expires, you may be able to continue coverage. Now, this is for iPad, iPhone, and Apple Watch only. You can purchase on a monthly basis after the 24 or 36 month agreement is over. If you pay monthly, you can switch to a plan that is paid up front. So that means if you've been doing monthly since you started, but the, your plan may continue beyond the 24 to 36 months on a monthly basis till it's canceled. You will not receive notifications that your plan's about to expire unless local law provides otherwise, which is a good, I put that last sentence in there for a reason, because Apple never tells you when your Apple Care is expiring, except that there is something on your phone or watch that tells you. Yes, yes. The but there's no pop-up so. that tells no. you. No, nope. But, but again, you can very easily put a reminder Put a, put uh, an event on your calendar. Well, I did, but then I messed it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, hey, now you know, bud. Well, now I know, and now I have the decision to make if I'm deciding to do it. And I decided not to. And the reason why is because it's just for scratches. It's not because the watch is not functioning. I'm not going to pay $4 a month for the watch to continue. It's been two years. I've had no problems with it. If I had to get another one, it's like two seventy nine. It's not worth the cost of an out of warranty replacement. Right, right. So I don't feel it's necessary for this. But if I had an iPhone, I might consider that. Yeah. Well, one of the, one of the reasons why I always upgrade every two years is mainly because of the Apple Care expired. Yeah, but is the iPhone four dollars a month or is it more? It's probably more. I wouldn't be shocked, but. Yeah. But what would be a good price for that, Frank? What would you say is the best price you could think of for that? Well, maybe ten dollars, fifteen dollars a month, something like that. Okay. okay. But I mean, it you know, most people like you did, right? You so you buy it for the month, mm-hmm. take care of the problem, then cancel it the next month. So mm-hmm. it's, you know, I mean, I, it, unless you're experiencing problems with your phone, I don't know that you would want to extend it beyond that but i i guess it varies on different situations um i'm sure with the phone it doesn't cover um you know uh breakage and and that kind of stuff 
Well, Apple right? Care Plus does. That's all they have is Apple Care Plus. So yes, it hmm. would. I, I, I. I think we have to read the fine print to see how that works. No, that's exactly. Remember, we talked about the fine print. They even added more. You get two XL incidences within twelve months, right? Of of the, of your first year. Yes. And so, which used to be two XL damages for twenty four months. Right. Now it's two per twelve. So that means you have four XL damage coverages in two years. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, they it made it better. Yeah, I don't know how, yeah. So like that, you can't really complain about Apple. I, I think Apple's Apple Care Plus plans is like, why would you bother going somewhere else to get a plan? Right. Other than the fact that uh, you may have to drive if you're in an area that doesn't have an Apple Store uh, relatively uh, close to you. Well, you remember you go to a Best Buy now, so remember yeah. that. <clears throat> or so, you can mail it in. You can mail right. it in. I'm sure yep. that's not a, something everyone's going to do, but. Well, uh, yeah, but Apple sends the uh, packaging right to you like mm -hmm. next True. day. It's very quick. To give you an idea, Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max is $9.99 a month. So that's how much it would probably be. So I, I would think an iPhone 11, probably like $7.99 a month. It wouldn't be more. Wow. Than that. that's, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. So. That's a blowing story for me this week that I wanted to discuss was Apple Care's coverage extension. That this happened, by the way, back in November. I just realized it now, and yeah. I can't believe we missed that. Yeah, uh, when we talked about it because that would have that would have been headline news for an Apple for an Apple Store employee. Now, if someone comes in a month late and said their Apple Care expired, well, now you are offering them an option. Yeah, and I mean, let's face it, you know. Uh, that happens quite a bit. You know, you're just out of the warranty and like for another nine bucks, you could extend your warranty. Who yep, wouldn't and, do that? And Apple is probably not going to be able to do the coverage thing. Like, honestly, I didn't fight it. I could have fought it to the point where I was like, listen, I'm not buying another monthly worth of warranty. I have a two-year one. I called about it. It's only a day out. Take care of it, you know. But because right. they have this. This is exactly what's supposed to take care of someone like me trying to get a, a repair yeah. discounted down, even though I'm outside the plan. Well, it's not like they said, well, you know, for 50 bucks, you know, it, it, they didn't charge for four dollars. Why would yeah. you argue over four bucks? Yeah, it's true. Uh, so I mean, I, it, it's not worth it to me. Honestly, I did it because I bought the Apple Care anyway. It was yeah. just to get it within the Apple Care time frame. For four dollars, is it worth me changing paying forty nine dollars for the repair for a watch? Eh, you know, yeah. I gotta think about it. I have 30 days to make my decision, you know, and I'll let you know if I decide to do it. I mean, Frank, what would you do in my shoes? You know you have scratches on your Apple Watch, your Apple Care is expired, you have to pay four dollars if you want to get it extended, and then you go ahead and do the axle damage coverage. Would you do it? Yeah, absolutely. Plus for you get a new bucks? battery. Listen, mm -hmm. you spend more than that on a Starbucks coffee. Come on. I don't buy that shit. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's true. Right? How many people do? That's true. You are right. And you I'm know. not one of those guys. I go Wawa coffee, baby. It's Wawa, only like there you go. Now, that's a coffee. For uh, those of you who don't live in the in the New United States of America, we <laughs> call Wawa, and, and New Jersey is probably the biggest spot it is. And, man, they are, like, the best coffee in the world. They really are. I, I go between uh, Wawa and Duncan. I still like Duncan. Yeah, Although the the people in Duncan are as dumb as dirt, man. They really I, are. But I oh do, my god! But they do have a nice ice mac uh, macchiato, so I I do like that. Listen, Will, I take my call. I here's how I when I'm in line, I say I would like a large black coffee with a quarter cup of ice in the cup before Ooh, you pour the, the coffee. Okay. In the cup before you pour the coffee. Very and I can bad. I can count the times on one hand that they get it right. Now, I, for the life of me, I fail to see what is so difficult. Now, you could go to Dunkin' Donuts and say, I want a double espresso with three shots of uh, caramel cream and all, and they get that right, but they can't get a freaking black coffee with a quarter cup of ice in the cup before they pour the coffee. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't know. I, I've had times that I've gone through the drive-thru, they give me a cup of ice and a coffee. 
I'm like, really? Yeah. I don't know. Our, co our, co our coffee experiences sometimes, uh, especially in, in Duncan, is not the greatest. That's why, yeah. Wawa, you pour it yourself, baby. Yep. You pour it yourself. But if you know, every if everyone noticed, our backgrounds are green. By the way, we didn't plan that. That's exactly how we both <laughs> came onto our Zoom call today. Frank, Apple's hey. 2021 quarter results happened the first quarter of the year. You got numbers. Let's I talk got, about it. I got some numbers. All right. Well, I'll take a sip of my Zevia. I'm going to take you back to 2020 because 2020 was such a great year uh, for all of us. Except for well, corporations. Except for except for everybody that got coronavirus. Yes. Um, <laughs> you made it sound like you know, like oh, 2020 was a great year. Well, it was a great year for most, a lot of corporations. I shouldn't yeah. say most. It was uh, Amazon. A, lot of, rich, a lot of rich people got richer. Yep. So in 2020, Apple reported revenue of 91.8 billion, with a profit profit of 22.2 billion. In 2021, the revenue was 111.4 billion with a profit of 28.76 billion. So it was up first quarter of 2021 over the first quarter of 2020. One item that dropped, however, by 5.5% was cash on hand. The first quarter of 2020 was 200 and 1.06 billion. This year was only 195.57 billion. Now, let's think about that for a moment. That's cash in hand. That's like the money you have in your checking account. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of freaking money. You think they have debt? <laughs> No, they don't have any. Well, they might have some debt. They probably have debt. I'm no, sure they nothing do. they can't cover. That's for sure. I, you know, I'd be, I'd be strange to think like Apple has debt and they don't pay it. Like, oh, that'd be oh, weird. No, but the total revenue was up 21% year over year. Quarterly earnings per share was up 35% to $1.68 per share. Uh, this is all at a time when Apple has made a major multi-year investment in its racial equality and justice initiative, which is slated for a $350 billion investment over a course of a couple of years. Uh, we talked about that last week. That's going to be a big boom for a lot of the inner cities. They're uh, starting off in Detroit. So, Pay attention, Detroit. You're going to get a lot of influx of Apple Cash coming your way. Now, uh, we have double-digit growth was achieved in each of the product categories, which was fueled mainly by an all-time uh, record event in each of the categories. Mac and iPad have had some major growth because of the work-from-home movement. Uh, Apple no longer reports iPhone, iPad, or Mac unit sales, but it does report revenue breakdown by product line. So to wrap this up, the iPhone reported $65.6 .6 billion in revenue. The services reported $15.76 billion. The Mac reported $8.68 .68 billion. Wearables, Home and accessories reported 12.97 or 13 billion in revenue. And the iPad uh, is picking up the rear with 8.4 billion. So uh, there's a lot of other information that you can get out there about the results, but these I picked out as uh, some of the highlights. Um, very, very big numbers. Um, you know, and the, the one number that uh, I've always been astonished by is Apple's cash on hand. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, that's, that's just astonishing. Um, in 2020, when they closed all the uh, retail outlets, yep. Apple paid their employees. This is one of the reasons they can afford to do that. Apple could, could, stop production 
of all of their products and still run their stores for God knows how many years on just the cash in hand. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, it's an astonishing company. They pay terrific benefits uh, and they generate a lot of cash. They're very careful on what they spend it on uh, in terms of, you know, research and development. Uh, another thing that's, you know, rumored this year, the car again, uh, there's rumors with Hyundai. So we'll see what happens in the upcoming events, but that's, that's what I have for the quarterly results. It's looks very, very good. Now, Apple stock is down this evening, but yes. that, that usually follows the announcement. So and that's that nothing unusual. And we record this on a Wednesday, just so you know. We don't know what's going to happen on Friday when this actually goes up on our channels, on our YouTube channel, and on our podcast channel. But some of the things I was impressed with was iPhone 12 line of smartphones had strong sales. I honestly didn't think people were going to run out and buy those because, again, we're in an economy that shouldn't support that. And well, here we are. They are able to show that they're – phone sold well you know the other thing will is uh what i was alluding to earlier was simply that people are home working from home so they are earning some money now i think what's happening well, that's what the, is, that's, but that's what the media says yeah well i think what's happening is people are saying well you know what if I, since i can't go out i'm going to buy more online mm -hmm. and they and they do look at take a look at amazon you think Amazon's hurting? You think FedEx is hurting? You think UPS is hurting? Someone benefits you, from something, no matter what kind of tragedy it, happens in the world. Even the post office, office, their business is up. So all of the delivery services are, are um, you know, I bought, I bought new symbols uh, recently. And, um, you know, they, not that the symbols were back ordered, but they, they were delayed because uh, the shipments were backed up. So I, I think that this whole work from home thing and people staying at home, um, they're not doing as much, but they still have some excess cash that they're, that they want to spend. Sure. I agree. Oh. Uh, you know, services was up again. Also, you know, Mac pulled ahead and I will be, interested when we're back here a year later what that number is going to be because i think that number is percentage is going to be so high oh yeah based on these new macs that are coming out because yes. i'm in the market in 2021 to buy yep. a new mac but and because it's all about that macbook pro what they decide to come out with yeah but you're not going to buy a new mac unless they upgrade the camera they <laughs> uh, yeah the camera i do not care i have my gopro baby i don't need no damn well uh, webcam I, we should tell the folks what I'm doing here. I bought a program on the App Store for $8, and I'm using my iPhone 12 as a webcam. Mm -hmm. So for 8 bucks, you can turn your iPhone into a webcam. Do you recall the app that you, what was it called? Yeah, Epoch Cam, E-P-O-C-C-A-M. And now there's a free version, mm -hmm. all right? But I thought... For eight bucks, I mean, come on, how can you kick? Come on, very impressive numbers by Apple this year. With, with of course, they made a lot of money, and you know, of course, the stock market's gonna react a certain way that they, you know, they didn't make enough. Oh um, yeah, you know, but this is the a couple of key points. Apple delivered its largest quarter by revenue of all time on on today, one hundred eleven point four billion. It's the first time Apple crossed. A symbolic $100 billion mark in the single quarter. Sales were up 21% yeah. year over year. Sales for every product category rose by double digits percentage points. Yep. You know, you said the iPhone 12, but the iPhone, that's grouped as one category. It could be 12, could be the 11, could be the 10, could be the mini. Now, uh, I was reading where they halted production on the mini. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that means it wasn't selling well or that they're... Maybe people um, just didn't need the smaller phone. Uh, also, reports are that India and Vietnam are going to be a primary source of iPhone 
building. So they're going to likely be moving their facilities to Vietnam and India. Now, India is very interesting because I believe that if you make a product in India, you, can, you can't make it anywhere else. Like that, that's like their like rule. We'll see. Uh, so, um, but they can make one product there. They can make the iPhone SE there by itself and then not, you know, manufacture right. it anywhere else. So there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe it's yeah. by SKU. I don't know what the rule is. Like there's got to be some kind of real, I know there's like a weird rule yeah. there with that. But I think that's great because I think it's, you know, at least in my opinion, I think it's good. They're going to save a lot of money on that. Well, you know, one of the things that I heard is since uh, Samsung has all the um, corruption uh scandals yeah. Yeah. i heard that uh yeah, a lot going on right now with that. that uh apple may be buying samsung i cannot see that <laughs> i cannot see that maybe like the technology or the patent or something but i cannot see them buying the entire company that would right. be the biggest deal i think since what would be the biggest deal in history aol and time warner probably right yeah, probably the, i don't know that's the one that comes to mind we all know how that turned out yeah so well that's our episode this week for the Fake Different Podcast. I want to thank everybody for joining us. Now, if you have not been paying attention on your YouTube channel, we do break up our topics uh, on the YouTube channel. But we also have other topics, including Frank's recent video on how to use numbers for a first-time user. And, of course, our most popular video right now is how to use pages for the first time. Great feedback, except for one guy who was really, really angry about something. I have no idea. But everybody else loves the video, which I really appreciate, guys. In fact, I recorded something today to piggyback off that video with the top five features I like to use in pages. So I'm going to have that video coming up on our YouTube channel a little bit. But we want well, to thank listen, you. listen. Oh. Yeah, since you plugged your your um, pages one, uh, all of our viewers out there, uh, let, let me know what you think of the numbers one, because uh, I can't have Will be the star of the show all the time. Here's the thing, so, Frank. You know, that, that's been up there for eight months. So you got to realize that it didn't take off for a while. So be patient. And plus, at the end of the video, I have it there as like the next follow up video. So hopefully people are going to it. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure people look at that numbers video. Like, all right. But I think we got lucky with the pages one, because if you search pages in YouTube, we're the number two video. And that's well, pretty amazing. Go. So everyone gets to see my face uh, on, not really, because it's an emoji, so no one really gets to see my face. <laughs> All right, buddy, I want to thank you very much for joining us for the Think Different Podcast. We hope that you buy Apple stock so we can make more money, and I love every single one of you.